are back back to our hardcore wow classic leveling stream we're currently uh level seven just finished a quest in stormwind we're heading back out to goldshire and we've got a few quests to turn in on the western part of goldshire which is the lower level area We're going to head out to like the McClure Farms. We're going to turn in the uh, pie for Billy and give the invisibility liquor to Maybell. And then we've got to take on Princess. And I think we're probably in a good position to take on Princess now. Um, with the level, we'll dot her up. We'll put on the decrease the target's chance to hit by 25%. I think we'll be all good. Maybe even put Curse of Weakness on. Um, yeah, which I think could be useful. Reduce the um, damage by three. That all helps. Curse isn't too expensive in mana. Got bandages as well and health potion. So yeah, I think we're in a good position. In fact, I can even put on a uh, oil of Olaf as well. Really boost our armor. Armor is what 131 currently. We get another 50 onto that. We get nearly 200 armor. Which for a level seven clothy, that's not bad. Traveling baker, Kira Songshine. Hello. Right, so yeah, we're going to Maybell first, and then we'll go across from there. Actually, no, where is... Our princess is actually quite away, so... That's Hogger. No, I don't want to do Hogger yet. No, let's, um... Let's do Maybell. Let's do pie for Billy first. And we'll kill on the way because we need the uh, XP. Poisoned me, how rude. What a rude spider. To go out of the way to kill on the way unless we really need to. Um, but I'm probably going to hang around just below mine and kill kobolds up there. Cobalt over here, but through it, yep. Cobalt tunnel up. Very nice. Okay, we're nearly at the farm. In. Good day to you. Chunk of boar meat. Though this wild boar meat is tough, simmer it enough and it sure does make for some tasty pie. Here you go, and when you give this pie to that Billy, you tell him I hope he chokes on it. Okay. Have a good one. So that out worked out pretty well because the next part of that quest is over where we're going. So uh, we can do both at the same time. 
And we're well on our way now to hitting level 8. Say we'll kill on the way. Okay, so here's Maybell. Hey there. Oh, my. I feel guilty deceiving my family, but my feelings for Tommy Joe are too strong to ignore. Thank you, adventurer. I'll drink this liquor as soon as I have the chance and sneak away to my love. And for you, please take this. Five. See you later. Health potions. Yeah, man, that is what I'm talking about. They will be very useful indeed. Hello. Right, chain pants go, chip boar tusk, and that. Uh, chunk of boar meat, we don't need any more. Uh, there's the pork belly pie, and let's get ourselves another bandage. Safe Good. travels. And we'll turn in this quest, and that will get us to level 8. We've done, we've done, we got to level eight without dying. Holy potatoes. Right. Um, old lady's necklace. Gold tooth. Oh, yes. The gold tooth kobold. Okay. So these are all sort of, well, gold tooth is a level eight. Princess is level nine. Uh, let's go and head up to the... M Actually, no. Uh, oh, no. It's in this mine, isn't it? It's Fargo Deep Mine. Well, okay, that might be all right, actually. We'll get a bunch of uh, XP killing the kobolds going into the mine to find Goldtooth. Always hate caves, though. But at level 8, I think we'll be in with a good shout. In fact, what I will put on the Oil of Olaf, though. Because why not? We got it for free. Let's make our way in and look for gold tooth. And he is all the way in. Uh, there's a tunnel out, all these dead people. Having people running around putting like 10 ton of mobs really doesn't help. Gold tooth should be this way. This is where these guys are going as well. So yeah, it looks like they're waiting for the same one. Or maybe not actually. Gold tooth isn't there. stole him. So annoying. You do the work and then it gets stolen. 
Oh, so frustrating. So frustrating. I'm so glad that MMOs like uh, Guild Wars and Star Wars The Old Republic got away from this whole mob tagging stuff. Because the, the mob tagging during questing is probably the worst feature of the game. No doubt about that. Because now you have to sit for ages and all the mobs respawn and it's a pain in the ass to get out. And there's a hunter who's going to be able to um, instant attack, which is going to suck. Level 16 as well. Yep. Thanks for that. Level 16 hunter with asshole written uh, written on him basically. Joy. So that's the second time we've been fucked now by asshole players. Welcome to WoW Classic. That was the funny thing. I remember playing WoW Classic when it relaunched, and like people were so nice. They were like literally almost like queuing up to do the mobs. And since then, it's devolved back to um, very, very not nice players, basically. Which sucks. Good, we've got the tag. Dagger tag is clearly the way to go. Good. So that's that quest done. So let's get the hell out of here now. Good, good. Fortunately, the one that spawned next to us didn't instantly attack. I could have taken that second one. Um, it was the third one that was going to start bothering me, but uh, we do have our health pots. Right, that's there's actually a lot of mobs up there, so I'm going to go out the main entrance. Oh well, so we did get uh, stumped by a couple of uh, unfortunate tags there, but um, fortunately... What have you missed? Um, uh, just, just having to deal with some uh, less than fun players when you've got a level 16 in low level area tagging quest mobs that you know where you need a unique mob and that sort of thing but uh, life in wow classic but we are level 8 we've made it to level 8 without dying so that's something I guess and you know, there are 52 levels more to go Here we go. Let's turn this one in. You need something? 
Oh, you found it. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Here, take this. It was my husband's, and he always said it was lucky. If only he didn't forget it on his last campaign. Asterisk, sniff, asterisk. Oh, man. Prep for battle. Have a good one. Yeah, you've got to be on WoW Classic, and then you've got to decide, do you want to play WoW Classic? Wrath of the Leash King, or do you want to play WoW Classic Era, which is what I'm playing here, WoW Classic Era, and of course, on, you've got to select that on the drop-down, so you've got to run the WoW Classic, and then you've got to select on the drop-down as well, so make sure you've got to download the right one. You say that, but I have to say, when I played the game originally, back in the day, while I really enjoyed the raiding of the Burning Crusade, Wrath of the Leech King is still my most favourite um, expand, or oh, most favourite time in WoW was during Wrath of the Leech King, without a doubt. I love Northrend. I love the atmosphere. I thought, while I didn't like Nax Ramus because it was like doing just Nax all over again. Um, I thought Ulduar was fantastic as a raid. I thought there were some great dungeons. Um, I thought the Ice Crown Citadel raid was excellent as well. Um, I enjoyed the achievement system. So, I have to say is that... I mean, reliving vanilla... Um, is is one thing, but I have to say that the, the time I enjoyed most in the game originally from an atmosphere, from um, the way the game played, with some of the quality of life improvements and stuff, um, was Wrath of the Leech King. I really did enjoy that. Like I said, I thought, I thought the theming, the music, everything was really well done. And then I... I I hated Cataclysm so much, I then quit the game. And I haven't I haven't raided since. I've I've delved back in, I delved back in during Mists and Warlords of Drain or even Legion and stuff. Just like dipped in the game but didn't stay for long and never went back to raiding, so I really didn't enjoy Cataclysm. I enjoyed some of the challenges that came with the achievements, like doing Sartharian with, like, you know, with all the drakes still up. And, of course, you got the Twilight Vanquisher mount for it. Um, I got both Undying and Immortal on my Warlock, um, which, uh, um, in fact, it, well, I, uh, was it on my Warlock? No, well, I didn't do it on a Warlock. I did it on uh, Death Knight, where you get, you know, all 10 people doing Nax with no deaths, and then. 25 man with no deaths um, that was pretty good that was pretty good so that the one thing I guess is that that, that brings me back to both vanilla and the and TBC is the way the game encouraged the social atmosphere more than any other it, it became a bit it, you didn't really get that when they brought it back as classic because it all chat was spammed with bots and of course there's so many guides and everything else but the social aspect when it, the game originally came out um as vanilla as we know it was excellent that was excellent And, and the way the game worked, it encouraged that whole social aspect. Can we sneak through here? We can. Let's kill these wolves since they're here. And 
and when they re released WoW Classic, you know, I did go back and, and, and raid all over again to sort of relive that vanilla feeling. And it was there, and we had a good deal, but at the same time, the, uh, the raiding grind for content that we've already done and that everybody had done to death, that those raids were so much easier because everybody knew everything. You had the right raid composition and buffs and world buffs and everything else. That just wasn't there back in the day. And you were kind of... It was all about speed runs and like doing skips and all skipping trash packs and all that we never used to skip trash packs back in the day unless you unless it was that easy you know generally you did it because you wanted the drops the gear and everything else so it wasn't quite the same going back which is why i stopped raiding in tbc in the, the redo of tbc because uh, it was just work for content that we'd already done that was all based around um, speed runs. And that's when I got back into the playing World of Tanks and uh, Wargaming, of, you know, obviously, you know, now at a point where they just shafted everybody pretty hard, so... The ultimate in greed. Though I was a big fan of Total Warhammer, um, it was really good to see Creative Assembly releasing their roadmap. Um, that was uh, really, really good to see that the roadmap is now finally out. We're actually running out of space to put stuff now. Think about eating some of that food. There's the bandages, so at least uh, get something from that. I have to leave some loot on the ground. I've been so unlucky, I've not had a single bag. I don't ever remember going this long without a bag in the early game. But I thought I'd have got one to drop by now. Alright, we go back in another mine. No, before they respawn, that would be no. Very cool. So now we're out. Right, and I am going to head back to Goldshire now. Uh, main reason is, is... Um, I'm going to go out. Yeah, let's go back this way and we'll kill on the way. Then I can empty the bags um, and then we'll go down the road and talk to these guys down here. And that's going to work the best. We're not going after Hogger quite yet. Good old Hogger. Like I say, this isn't a speed run. This is a hardcore run, but one for enjoyment. So we're taking it easy. We've got the, the, the voiceover on the quests. Just enjoying the game, but with the challenge of not dying. Green mobs are good. Green mobs are good. Okay. 
you'll have to let me know when you get in game. Prep for are you are you prep? Are you gonna do this as hardcore mode or? Are you doing it as hardcore though? Because if you're doing hardcore, you need to um, one check the rules on classic hardcore. Um, uh, and because there's obviously the rules now for how to do hardcore, and you need the hardcore add on. You managed it back in the day, didn't manage to die at all. If, yeah, if you want a verified run and you want to get put in the um, Hall of Fame and being immortal on the classic hardcore Discord server, it's, it's worth doing. And it's to have it, that's what we've got the hardcore death log here. Um, so, yeah, if you are going to do like a proper hardcore run, then um, it's worth getting the add on. And also checking the rules because the rules are no grouping. No trading, no auction house, no being sent stuff in the mail, no using soul stone, no using um, shaman angst, no using um, bubble hearthing for paladins and all that sort of stuff. Kobolds at the Jasper Lone Mine, you say? Curses. The situation is worsening by the minute. Thank you for the report, adventurer. But I wish that the news you brought was good news. The garrison on our western border sends word of increasing knoll and thief activity. They're requesting we send more Stormwind soldiers, but we just don't have any to spare. If you can help, we could use it. Go and speak with Deputy Rayner at the Westbrook Garrison and see what he needs done. The garrison is down the road to the west. After you cross the bridge over the small brook, it will be to the right. Light bless you. Yeah, but being... being... Oh, being... Uh, OP for each of the areas that you're in. That's that's how to do it. That's definitely how to do it. You, I mean, ideally, you always want to be fighting green mobs if you're doing a proper hardcore run. Because who wants to be like for? level 50 and uh, then having to uh, restart? So. So yeah, that the aim is to most of the time be green for each of the areas where possible. Be careful. Fighting green mobs. And never ever be fighting mobs higher level. Right, can we Wanna get make your demons ones? more powerful? Yes, we It'll can cost get you, rank two but you've come to the right place. Safe travels. And the arcane only corrupts those who are weak. Curse of Keep agony. up on your training or you will find a similar fate. Yeah. Now, if I remember correctly, uh, yes, yeah, so. Oh, I want that and that, that. And fear, let's put fear in. Here and that there for now. Okay, that's good. And then we've got rank two fireball for the imp. Good, and that's done. But yeah, I don't know if you've been on the hardcore website, but this is uh, this is where you really want to go. You just stayed in one place and farmed XP. Yeah, I mean that's that's totally viable. It's totally one way to do it. Um, but that let's say that is the. I mean, the other thing to note with the with the add-on is that you can actually set yourself challenges as well. So, for example, there's like an achievement challenge on the hardcore add-on where you can decide to not use any fire damage as a warlock and you've got a level to 60 without dying without using fire fire spells or you can do it only using fire spells and not using any shadow um, like there's a whole bunch of different 
um, different challenges you can set yourself within the hardcore add-on. Right, so I'm not intending to do Hogger, but I am going to go this way because it's um, close enough to turn in that quest. Coming up to three hours in the stream. I think I'll take the Hogger quest while I'm here though. You can hold 20 quests, so that should be fine. I can't remember what level Hogger actually is. It's been that long. The legend that he is. The wanted poster. Slay the Knoll Hogger. We can't use any of the gear, but uh, we'll accept it. Oh, he's 11 plus. He's 11 plus. So, yeah, it'll be a, a while before we go after him. Get our demon armor back. Look at that, we're up to 191 armor as a level 8. Help. I can't believe the officials in Stormwind sending the bulk of our army abroad. When our home front is under so much pressure, with thieves coming from Westfall and knolls encroaching from from the east and west, it's a wonder Stormwind itself isn't besieged. Okay. Uh, Westbrook Garrison needs help. Marshal Dugan sent you, huh? Well, you're not from the army, but if Dugan sent you, then that's good enough for me. Okay. Our situation is, to say the least, a stressed one. I hope you can give us a hand. I can always give you a hand. You lucky person. For gnolls, brutish creatures with no decent business in these lands, have been seen along the borders of Elwyn Forest. A large pack of them, many more than we can handle alone, have infested the woods south of the guard tower yonder. Another group has infested the areas near Stone Cairn Lake to the east. The Stormwind army will commend whomever helps kill them. Bring me their painted knoll armbands as proof of your deed. Be careful. Painted knoll armbands. Okay, I think we can go after the regular knolls easily enough. Just gotta watch out if there are, if there are packs, aren't they? Aren't they in packs up here? To see if they're in packs, that makes it more of a problem. I can't remember. But there's one that's running around. hit reasonably hard, even with the armor that we've got. Right, let's go after this next one. Okay, and bandage. And we got a quest. A quest scroll, no less. Give him the collector's schedule, okay? 
So these are pretty tough dudes. <laughs> One thing's for sure, we definitely couldn't take um, more than a one of them. Uh, I wonder if the oil of Olaf doesn't stack. Probably not. It's too far away. That spell isn't ready yet. Okay, getting our dots up. We can just be content taking these uh, these ones. I mean, it's giving us good uh, good XP, so um, we can take these solo ones. my mind right now is Curse of Agony really worth it? Maybe not. Because we're not really getting to the end of the ticks and of course it's the last tick so it, it ramps up the damage. So I might, might not bother with Curse of Agony quite yet. Somebody's been taking them all down. There's a warrior out there. Two warriors out there. Going for the solos. Uh, level 11. Armbands don't drop. Right, let's um We can use these bandages, we got quite a lot, so that works. That's a group of three, that's a big group. He's a level fourteen. Get closer. Oh, that's someone calling out for bags. If only I could do the same. No trading. You can only buy from uh, you can only buy from NPCs, unfortunately. It's too far away. You're gonna get. Oh, yeah. No, got him. That will be charging. Okay, and we've just killed. 
killed Hogger. Yeah, we got a ton of those uh, linens, so we can use bandages galore. These bandages do not drop, do they? Too big a pack there, there's four of them. Unfortunately, with a chest as well. Oh, I've spied one up here. the one thing is with getting these dudes though is that uh, we will definitely um, well that's Hogger uh, we'll definitely I'm out of range oh is he too close no he should be alright no he's got him kind of levelling just by killing mobs in the same area but doing the quest I mean out of all those gnolls that we've killed we've only got one armband the drop rate's obviously very low drop rate is obviously very low right let's do the first aid Thank you. <laughs> Logged in and ready for battle. Good. Don't save the imp. Doing bandages. this but we did get an armband from it there we go let's get him back <laughs> start your rise from undeath forgot it won't let you have numbers in your name Naming convention uh, is pretty strict. No spaces, no numbers. There's Hogger. Staying away from him. So we need six more armbands. This guy's... We can just get into range of him. That might be all right. Hey, we've got another armband. Five more armbands to go. Five more armbands, right. Here's this guy. No, no, Hog is going too close to him. I wondered if it was going to pull up. But it didn't. Take the health potion. 
Mission I sure have that. That spell isn't working. That's still recharging. Let's use the bandage. There we go. I do love the LVI um, setup. It's very nice. Did we just pick up a really nice looking staff? I think so. Oh, I can't use it. I haven't trained staffs. Oh my god. Staff of intellect. Requires level 8. We need to go and train staffs. Very nice indeed. Four more armbands to get as well. That is a very nice staff to pick. I can't believe I haven't trained staff yet. I need to go and train them. It's all these things you forget that actually you had to train the weapons and stuff. Oh, we got a runner. Stay away from him. He's pulling half the planet. I can't pass that yet. I really wish I had bags, man. Literally, like, where are the bags? Got a really nice staff there, but no bags. I thought we even had, supposed to have had a quest early on that gave bags, but I'm not mistaken. Okay, still no, we need two more armbands. And you can see each of the ticks. It's got tick bars on it. It's just really nice looking. He's got that one. Okay, let's keep coming down over here. Dead Hogger. Is Hogger the most killed mob in the game? That's that's unique, shall we say? Probably. Actually, do you know him? He might not be. Because I'm sure, like raid, there's like raid bosses that are probably being killed. <laughs> that would be an interesting one. That would be an interesting one. Is Hogger the most killed unique mob in the game? <laughs> and we leveled level nine. Um, you forgot all the controls. Your brains like shake off the cobwebs. <laughs> yeah, you got to remember like how you did all your keybinds and stuff. I mean, I, I use um, a Razer Naga MMO mouse for playing these, and uh, and so like most of my keybinds are literally just on the mouse. But uh, yeah, it is. But because I'm using L V I, I've got to remember there's like you know micro menu bar for like a minimalist. So I try and remember like what the keybind for um, what the keybind for uh, like spell book and talents and stuff like that is. That's still recharging. Yeah, we've got another armband. We got another armband. Right. But on that note, we need to uh let's drink. 
Let's drink. Okay, just one more armband now. One more and we're done here. Getting to level nine, that's nice. Ooh, that bear's just a touch too close. And yeah, man, we are done with the Noel quest. We survived not getting hunted down by Hogger. Fantastic. Turn this one in. Painted null armband. I see you've been busy. You have our thanks. Pants. Take that. And we'll equip those. And report to Gyron. Looks Stan to me you've seen quite a bit of combat in your time, adventurer. Right? If you haven't already, you should report to Gryan Stoutmantle. He heads up the people's militia aimed at protecting the farmlands of Westfall. I bet he could use your help. You can usually find him in the stone tower on Sentinel Hill, just off the road in the middle of Westfall. I'm sure we can, but I'm not going to Westfall quite yet. Jesus. We've still got plenty of things to do here first. Not least of which... Sell this and go and train staffs. We need to do a trip to Stormwind as well because I really want to equip that staff. Plus three intellects, really nice. Oh, that tough jerky's food. I might replace that. Well, it's nice, I have to say, to make level nine without dying. You know, it's a, it's a start, right? It's a good start. Well right, let's, met. Uh, sell. To a bandage because we need the skill ups. Light bless you. Need help? Mm, I have heard of this collector, but I don't know whom he's working for. Thank you for the schedule, it will help us solve this mystery. Okay, man. If the collector is taking gold from our mines, then he's stealing from the kingdom. Bring the collector to justice and bring me the ring mentioned in the pickup schedule you gave me. Okay. It may tell us whom the collector is working for. The pickup schedule says the collector is hiding out at the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch. You should search for him there. Okay. For the Alliance. I've got another one in here. What's this? Uh, there we go. Hey there. I'm sorry. I'm a bit busy right now making horseshoes for Werner Osgood in Lakeshire. There's a dwarven weaponsmith in Stormwind, Grimmond Elmore, who sent word that he needs help with a delivery. Okay. I believe he wants a package sent to his homeland in the north. You have a sturdy pair on you, so if you're interested in some legwork, then speak with Grimmond. We could use you down here, but we must also keep our ties strong with the dwarves. You can find Grimmond Elmore at the weapon shop in the dwarven district of Stormwind in the northeast section of town. Okay. Have a good one. Right, so we're gonna go. Uh, let's actually let's go 
uh, check our Warlock Trainer, and then we're going to go into Stormwind and see if we can train up the um, staff, which will be good. Just missing a bag. Like, Greetings. How much have we got? We've got 21 silver. It's 5 silver for a, sm for a 6 slot bag. Go with honor, friend. Starting to get to the point where I might actually need to spend that silver, which I really don't want to do. Uh, want to make your demons more powerful? Right, so It'll no cost more you, rewards but you've come to the right place. The arcane skills? only corrupts those who are weak. Keep up on your training, or you may find a similar fate. So no more skills. Okay, let's go and do our staff training, and then we can think about if we want to buy a bag. I just can't believe none have dropped. Hopefully, you get lucky, buddy, because uh, I. And normally, you get at least one bag that drops early on off low-level mobs, so we didn't get any. Not a one. And then, although Grim and Elmore's task is a level 15, like, we can go and do it and talk to him we don't actually have to then do the follow on from that and then we'll come back into go and do princess after this and the collector I think is down there as well Weapons trainer is over here, if I remember correctly. somewhere key bindings done yeah <laughs> you got to get all those set up the way you want them without a doubt right uh what have we got that's accessories core master rogue trainer where's the weapons trainer Is it in here Trainers, warrior trainers. Where's the weapons trainer? Weapons trainer must be in here, I guess. Shady Dealer, Rogue Trainer, Poison Supplies. Am I going mad? 
Where's the flipping weapons train now? I need to find a guard, don't I? I thought the weapons trainer was here. But clearly I'm wrong. Any guards about? Leather working. Can I find a Stormwind Guard, please? Jesus, literally running around the entirety of Stormwind looking for a weapons trainer. Or a guard. Ah, the joys of exploration. Need. What do you need directions to? Weapons trainer. Master Wu Ping has mastered oh, nearly every crap, weapon known to man. Course. He is especially deadly with his sword techniques. He spends a good deal of time over in the Weller's arsenal waiting on new shipments of weapons to arrive if you need some training. Wu Ping, I forgot, I forgot. What can I have you come seeking training in the ways of armed combat? Yes, staff. Ten silver, but it's gonna be worth it. Be careful. Equip. Thank you very much. That is exactly what we want. I said just browsing my wares, or is there something specific I can help you find today? There we go. Be careful. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Right. Uh, and then we've just got to talk to Grim and Elmore, who's over here. And then I think we will wrap up the stream once we talk to Grimmond and we come back to Stormwind Entrance. We'll wrap it up there for the evening. We will have done, uh, what, nearly nearly four hours, three hours, 45. We'll have got... Uh, we've got to level nine on our way to level 10 in the first, uh, first stream. Without any deaths, that's a good start. First 40 XP, there yeah, you go, man. You're on your way now. You're on your way. The nostalgia will start flooding. The rose-tinted glasses will appear. Dwarf. Now for the mods. What can if you've come looking for the finest craftsmanship on this or any other continent in the world, then you've come to the right place. Grim and Elmore, at your service. You're yeah, here I'm... to help with my delivery? Very good. I'm using a uh, curse forge for my Great mods. To meet you. The Elf UI to um, you have to download separately from the Elf UI website. Uh, right, good. Storm Pikes. The Storm Pikes are a respected dwarven clan and are well known for their fine and discerning tastes. So it's no wonder that Gringer Storm Pike, a mountaineer of Ironforge, commissioned me to craft him a weapon. The weapon is finished, but 
mountaineer Stormpike is far away, in distant Loch Modan. If you plan on traveling to the north, can you deliver this package to him? My last message from mountaineer Stormpike said he's stationed at the Northern Guard Tower in Loch Modan. Safe travel! There you go, we'll just keep that with us, that's fine. And that is all the quests in Stormwind, and we're now set, ready to um, head back out to finish off the quests in this zone before we move on to Westfall, which is where we're going to head after here, looking at better quest tracker. I find Questy is, for me, Questy is, is brilliant. I mean, there are others out there, but some of them you've got to, like, pay for. Um, and I don't like the ones that have the whole navigation arrow and tell you which quest next and everything. That's just kind of, like... It just makes the game feel way more linear. Do you know what I mean? That's why I like Questy. It, it tells you where they are. It tells you where the objective is. But without telling you what to do next. See, so yeah, I, I like, I have to say, Questy definitely does it for me. Okay, and there should be an inn just up over the other side. And we can stay in the inn. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the stream for this evening. Uh, we did three and a half hours, which is not bad for our first stream back after a while. Um, we have got to just be on level nine. We haven't died once on our hardcore challenge. Um, so that's good. We're just doing straight hardcore uh, with none of the other achievements and stuff thrown in. It's just literally get to 60 without dying. Uh, we're doing LCR Human Warlock to start with in classic era. Uh, so what's next? We'll tune in tomorrow as we continue our MMO character leveling journey as we pick a class uh, and we'll begin leveling that in guild wars 2 so i'm thinking at the moment a guardian uh, is what's on my mind so uh, yeah we'll be looking to level uh, a guardian uh, in guild wars 2 and then back on thursday for some more wow classic era hardcore and then sunday We'll be picking a random game so i don't know in my mind i'm thinking maybe we'll do something different from mmos maybe we're going to do something like subnautica or maybe we'll do uh, a playthrough of a game i haven't decided yet but um we'll see when we get there uh and we'll see how much time we've got what time i can get online so um we'll play that by ear sunday is the random game and then back for monday next week with star wars the old Republic, continuing the journey that we already started with our Imperial Agent Sniper uh, following the Dark Side uh, storyline. So, uh, prep for battle. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you being here. Um, hopefully you um, continue to enjoy your, your nostalgic uh, journey back through WoW Classic now that you've got it back installed. And uh, hopefully I'll see you back either tomorrow or maybe back on Thursday when we're back in WoW Classic. Uh, so have a good night. Yeah, uh, good night to you as well. Good night to everybody else that's tuned in uh, or is uh, watching this either on our Twitch VOD or these will be broken down into roughly hour-long segments and also posted on the YouTube channel. So keep an eye out for those. Uh, there's obviously more YouTube content coming out as well. So the video that came out today on youtube was uh dead effect 2 the first mission of that lots of first plays and uh look first look at games on youtube right now on the channel so keep an eye out for those uh and i will uh see you all very very soon
You've been watching The Gay Style. Good night.